Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at For Your PC's wireless transmitter and receiver. So this is a simple device that wirelessly lets you share your screen from your mobile phone, your computer, or your tablet to a, another device such as a TV projector. You could even share it to a smart board or really any type of monitor as long as it has a HDMI port. So what you have here is this is the transmitter and this goes into your computer or mobile phone or tablet. And you can see here it has a USB type C connection. So that will go into your device that's sending the signal to the monitor. And then the other half of it is the receiver. And so the receiver will go into your display monitor. So let's say your TV. So as long as your display monitor has a HDMI port, you can plug that in. And then you also get this USB-A to USB-C cable, and that's actually going to power the receiver. So it plugs in to here, and you need to plug this into a power source. So for a lot of newer TVs, they have a USB port on the back, so you can just plug that straight in there. But if your TV or your monitor doesn't have a USB port, you can just plug that into an adapter and then plug it into the wall. So it just needs to get a bit of power to this. Uh, this one here doesn't need power, it powers off of your device like your iPhone or your laptop or computer. Before we go too much further into the video, I just wanted to mention that For Your PC did send this out for me to test and review. So the receiver supports up to 4K Ultra HD resolution and this will also depend on what monitor you're putting it on. So my computer monitor here, for instance, is only, it's pretty much classed as 2K, so not quite 4K, um, but my TV that I use it on is 4K, so I'll get the full resolution. And so it's also cross-platform, so you can use this on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android. So you just have to make sure it has a USB-C port to connect this. And there's no apps or Wi-Fi needed, this is just plug and play, and it sends the image from your device directly to the monitor, which is really cool. Okay, so let's get into the setup and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so first take the receiver and plug it into the HDMI port on your TV or monitor. Then connect the USB cable to a power source. Your TV's USB port works, but if you don't have one, you can just plug it into a wall adapter. Next, grab the transmitter and plug it into the USB-C port on your device. This works with laptops, tablets, and even phones, as long as they have USB-C. And that's it, they pair automatically, no apps, no Wi-Fi, no extra steps. It might take a few seconds, but once it's connected, you're ready to go. If you're using a laptop, you might want to tweak the display settings. On Windows, right click on your desktop, go to display settings, and from there, you can choose to duplicate your screen or extend it. For Mac, head over to settings, then display, under the Use As section, you can pick Mirror or Extend. If you need to adjust the layout, just click Arrange and it's super easy. You can also easily choose your audio source. You just need to go to your device's audio settings and choose if you want it to come from your device or from the TV or whatever display you're using. I do just want to mention with video streaming, there can be a little bit of lag and sometimes the voice will be out of sync with the audio slightly. I do notice this more on my MacBook. I find that Windows seems to be a bit more smoother, but that's just one thing to keep in mind. I just got the new iPhone 16 Pro and this is actually my first iPhone in about 15 years. I had the very first iPhone back in, I think it was 2007. And I also had the iPhone 4, I think it was. Um, but pretty much since then, I've just had... But a few months ago, I got my first ever MacBook Pro, which you can just see over here. Um, I got it to do my video editing work on, and I just, I've fallen in love with it. It's such a great computer, and it got me thinking, like, what would it be like to have an iPhone as well, and sort of be a part of that ecosystem. And if you do run into any trouble with lag, let's talk about some troubleshooting because when you're using a transmitter and receiver, you can get interference with them. So these things might be helpful to know so you get the best experience from your wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. One thing I noticed is that Bluetooth devices like wireless headphones, mice, and sometimes when you're using your phone right next to your computer, it can sometimes cause interference with the signal. 
If you're seeing lag or the audio and video aren't syncing, try moving these devices away from the transmitter and then unplugging the transmitter, waiting about 30 seconds and then reconnecting it. This usually resets the signal. So this HDMI transmitter and receiver works well for presentations, slideshows, photo viewing and general screen mirroring, making it useful for training or meetings. For video streaming like Netflix, I've noticed the occasional lag and audio sync issues, which can vary with signal interference. It's fine for casual videos, but not ideal for watching movies or TV shows. Sometimes I seem to get it working perfect and there's no audio sync issues and then other times you get that slight delay, which can make it really annoying when you're trying to watch a video. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.